Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, I'm in the middle of a construction project and I've been gone a few days and I need to kind of keep you up to date on how this project's going because you see right now, it looks like a big wreck and it's not even remotely close to being done. And yet I can tell you that we're within four weeks of our first big event here. And so when I talk about how this has got a lot of stuff that needs to be done, I'm not joking. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. We've got flooring that needs to go in. We've got walls that need to go in. <laughs> we've got painting that needs to be done. We've got appliances. We've got, I mean, there's a lot of work to be done. And so I, there's a massive crew out here. Now I've been gone out of town for the last, whoops, whoops, sorry. They're putting in wood flooring over here. I've been gone out of town for the last almost week. And when I came back, I really wanted to see everything finished. And I'm seeing some good work being done. I'm seeing, you know, where they're laying some more stone. I'm, I'm hearing work being done. You can hear it being done. The problem I've got is there are things that I wanted finished that aren't even remotely finished. And that means that try as I might, I, I'm just looking at the progress and I'm wishing that it was more than it is. And so uh, I'm reminded as I, as I experience this, you'll have to excuse me while I look down so I don't trip over something. I'm reminded of that passage within the Bible that talks about how we are God's workmanship. In other words, God has, we're his building project. And so as God's building project, we've got to, to, to recognize that he doesn't do all the work any more than I do all the work around here. But he has the plan and, and tells us what to do to get the work done. And, and Paul puts it this way in, in the letter to the Philippians. He says to, uh, to work out what we're working out in this life, knowing that God's at work within us to will and to work for where God wants things to be. So here I am, I'm looking at this building project and I'm thinking about these passages. So let me explain how this all comes together for me. This comes together with a recognition that I get frustrated over projects that aren't done yet, that should be done but aren't finished. And I wonder if God ever feels the same frustration over me. I wonder if God ever hits a point where, maybe frustrated is not the right word to use for God, but does God have a wish, have a will, have a desire for the work in my life that he wants to do in me? Is there a desire to have that work go at a much faster pace than I'm willing to take it? Because there are times where God wants me to do ABC. I know I'm supposed to do ABC, but instead I do DEF because I'm just not in the mood or I'm just not driven or I'm just not disciplined enough. Those types of questions I think are appropriate questions for us to ask. Because God is seeking to have us become his building project. Now, this leaves me today with this thought. I am, other than the fact that my hair is a mess, I am today going to work on, uh, on things so that when God looks into my life, he says, hey, we made some progress today. Um, I'm going to work on my attitudes. I'm going to work on my actions. I'm gonna work on my compassion. I'm gonna work on my diligence. I've got so many things I can work on so that God's construction project in me makes some serious advances. Now I'd love to tell you more, but I gotta get out there and find out why they're not making more progress. So I'll stop here and this will be your video thought for today.